All right, everybody, welcome back to Conquer and Commander. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a game feature from my Karthus Tyrant of Jun deck. For the complete deck list, go to puremptgo.com, check out my article series, Conquer and Commander. Hopefully I'll have a link in the video description as well. Today we're going to be playing a two-headed giant game featuring uh, my teammate here, Omnath Locus of Mana. The cool thing about Omnath is that this guy actually built his deck based around my budget version. He's obviously made some changes as you'll see, but um, it's nice to be able to see that as well. We're going up against uh, Darien, King of Keldor, who's going to be Soldier, Tribal, or Tokens. And then Triad of Fates. This is my first game against the Triad. Uh, it's going to be a bunch of Endless the Battlefield shenanigans and Thousand Year Elixir. Um, obviously, Omnath only has one land, so he's going to mulligan. I've got two lands, one of which is Command Tower, and I've got a Demonic Tutor. And I've got Sky Shrek Claim. This is a, ge a hand I could have kept if I wanted to. If I draw any sort, one more land, I'd be pretty good. I could Demonic Tutor for like Soul Ring or something like that. And then Sky Shrug Claim on turn three. Uh, and I've got Eurobrask. But I decided to send it back. And um, both of us send our cart stuff back. Uh, and now the Omnath player actually has land. My play space is right here behind the Sacred Foundry. Uh, and I've got one, two, three, three lands plus a Cultivate. Even though one of the lands is a Bounce Land, I'm fine with that. Um, and I've got three dragons, of course. You'll end up finding that you get hands full of dragons with this deck. Uh, so, uh, Darien starts to play with uh, the Lane Line of Sanctity out there. Uh, and I draw Patriarch's Bidding which can help me unless Darien is hardcore soldier tribal. So Omnath ramps a little bit. I play Reflecting Pool and then Cultivate. For some reason things are a little slow right now. I'm not sure why here. For mountains. Yeah, because most of my dragons require mountains. Try to Fate plays Burnished Heart. And uh, there it is. You know, uh, I can see Burnished Heart being played in a non-green decks, you know. Other than that, it's uh, six mana for an explosive vegetation or something like that. So Mimic Vat comes out for the Omnath player. I go ahead and play Mountain and then Eurobrask. And I attack. Because he's obviously not going to block with the heart. Uh, Triad plays Soul Ring. He's got Frexian Tower. Just... Oh, that's right. Contested War Zone is on Battlefield for Darien, uh, which is an interesting card. I, I don't really see it played that often in Commander. So He does sacrifice Burnished Heart, which puts, puts it under the Mimic Vat, which is cool for the Omnath player. Darien plays Honor the Pure. No creatures yet, though. Uh, Soul Ring, then Crows and Tusker for Omnath. And then Whisper Silk Cloak. So on my turn, I play Strip Mine, and then uh, Mana Charge to Dragon, which I think is going to be good, especially with Omnath as my teammate. He's tapped out right now, but... Uh, Um, he's not able to contribute. Why is why is there such a delay going on? Why is this so slow? Oh, so he uh, he plays Azorius just to, just to share just to, just to care, whatever. It it detains my two dudes, and Thousand Year Elixir is going to help him. Return to Dusk gets rid of the Mimic Vat and the Whisper Silk Cloak. Omnath comes out to play. I play Flame Bass Dragon. He still has haste. I got Nature's Lore in hand. Basically, all I'm doing is curving into my dragons right now. And I'm beating down. They're at 62. We're at 77. So we get attacked. Obviously, there's going to be some sort of wrath or something like that right here. There it is. Austere Command. It's going to wipe the board of creatures. And then land tax for the triad player. Darien plays Conqueror's Pledge. 
or a bunch of 2-2 two -two dudes. So he's obviously tokens. Omnath draws with Harmonize and has Bear Umbra. He plays Sword of Vengeance. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put Nature's Lore and play Deathrite Shaman so that I can uh, use the extra mana or ding them for a little bit. Land Tax lets the Triad player draw Geist of Saint Traf or Geist Honored Monk, not Saint Traff, different different Geist. Luckily, uh, next turn I can Bogart on Hellkite if I want. Slate of Ancestry for the Darien player with Senses Divining Top. We go ahead and take 10. We drop down to 63. Omnath plays his commander and puts Bear Umbra on it. So that's good. I drive Sark in the Mad. So right now, all I want to do is just keep playing my, um, oh yeah, he, he Heroes Demise is my, uh, my Hellkite Tyrant. I want to play all the dragons in my land, in my hand that I can, because, um, I've got the, uh, Patriarch's Bidding, and the other two players, my opponents don't have, really have any creatures in their graveyard. Oh, and he Cloud Shifts the Geist. Cloud shifts a card that uh, was recently mentioned to me and I hadn't really seriously considered. Land tax. And then Trad Demonic Tutors. And I'm wondering, what did he Demonic Tutor for? Not 100% sure, but we get attacked with all these guys. So we drop to 54. And then he gets Skull Clamp. That's what he tutored for, so that he can start clamping his dudes and drawing cards. Even though he's got five cards in hand, well, seven now, he's still digging for something. And there's Master Splicer. Another thing to blink. Darian uses the SDT, plays Mana Crypt, plays a Johnny, and uses the plus one ability. So these are all three threes now, and we drop, oh, and the Contested Cliffs, Warzone, or whatever. We drop down to 30. So the Omnath player plays Nature's Will, equips the Omnath, pumps the crap out of it, and um, because of the Bear Umbra, he's able to pump it up even more. So it's an 18-16 First Striking Trampler. No blockers. I don't do anything. My plan right now is I'm going to flash out Bogart and Hellkite at the end of somebody's turn. And then next turn, I'm going to try and use Patriarch's Bidding to bring my uh, dragons back. And then use Sarkin's uh, Semi-Ultimate in order to um, do some decent direct damage to the opponents. Land tax is getting the triad player more cart lands, and there's Knight of the White Orchid getting Godless Shrine. Core Cartographer is going to help him ramp too. So he's not having any land problems. <laughs> we get attacked. Oh, okay, so now is when I'm going to flash out the dragon, uh, the Hellkite. So I kill off some of these little dudes, and then I block the. Uh, the Geist. So we only take three. We're at 29 now. And then he plays uh, Shadowborn Demon. Um, which is good for me because it's dead now. And I can bring it back with uh, the bidding. Oh, Omnath attacked the... Um, um, what's it? The, um, the Ajani. He didn't attack the, uh, the player, Darian player itself. So we drop down to nine. We're at nine life. Omnath draws Oracle of Moldaya. He decides to go in and pumps the crap out of Omnath. Goes up to 34, and Omnath gets condemned. Boom. 
Bad news and good news. Good news, we gain 34 life. Bad news, Omnath loses his commander. So that's frustrating and good because now we're at 41. We're still... Uh, oh yeah, and I get rid of a, a card in somebody's graveyard so that we can gain a little more life too. And so that they can't bidding. And then I get rid of a land, and there's bidding. I pick dragons, obviously. Um, so with my Hellkite, I kill off like one or two of these guys. Oh yeah, uh, one of the soldiers' tokens and the core cartographer. He oh he brings back uh, that guy. And then I play Sark and the Mad, and I use the minus four ability to knock them down to thirty-five. And I attack with my hasty trampler with Hellkite Overlord. And he blocks with a demon. So I'm expecting reanimation or something. So he uses, uh, the trad player uses the clamp. And plays Debtor's Knell. Which is uh, probably not great. And there's Oblivion Stone. Okay. And then attacks me with both of these guys. Oh no, he attacks Sarkin. I'm like, no, I want Sarkin around so I can draw the extra card off him. So I block both of those guys. And I was expecting shenanigans. There were no shenanigans. Alright, so Darien uh, attacks with his three guys. And uh, only, we kill one of them off. So we're down to 31 now. And then Austere Command uh, wipes out the board of all the creature, creatures. Which is fine. Except for the Nell. So there's Hellkite. Hellkite gets equipped, but soars plowshares. So no more Hellkite, which is sad. But we're at 36 now. I reveal Oblivion Stone with Sarkin when uh, I use Sarkin's ability to draw a card. And it kills off Sarkin. I'm fine with that. But what I want to do is wipe the board of everything because I don't want the Nell out there um, reanimating stuff. Uh, the interesting thing, and I didn't think about it, <laughs> he notices this. He's like, use Debtor's Knell to reanimate dragons to give it back to him. I'm like, oh yeah, I could have, you know, I could cast my my commander, Karthus, to steal any of the dragons he steals from me. Um, but it doesn't matter. I just, I didn't want the Nell out there anyway. So he saves the Skull Clamp with a fake counter. Um, so we're at 36, they're at 33. Um, triad player has six cards in hand. Darion only has two. He uses Sin Collector on me to get rid of my uh, Acid Moss. And then uh, sacrifices it to the Skull Clamp. And then plays Triad. Alright. So Captain of the Watch. More Soldier Tokens. Crystal Ball for Karthus. Who plays the Oracle. There's Vines of Vastwood. Wickerbow Elder, who blows up the clamp. Uh, I drew a land, and I played it, and I play Ma Mana Reflection, and then I play Harvester of Souls. I'm hoping some creatures die. Some non-token creatures. Unfortunately, Fiend Hunter is out there, and uh, the uh, <laughs> my Harvester goes away. I still have Karthus, so if I really want to, I can play him. There's Luminarch Ascension for the Darien player. No attack from Darien. Alright. Sakiko so is on top of her graveyard, and he uses uh, Crystal Ball, and there's Sylvan Primordial on top. There's Brawn. So what do I draw? Lightning Greaves. I've got enough mana. I can cast the Lightning Greaves and Karthus. And I put the Greaves on Karthus just to protect him from another Condemn effect or something like that. And then I destroy the Frexian um, Tower. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> but I did. Okay, so they're down to 26 now. He puts a Faint Counter on the Fiend Hunter. And then he exiles the Fiend Hunter so he can draw cards. 
Uh, that means my harvester comes back, which I'm happy about. And then he grim tutors. Uh oh, what's he gonna grim tutor for? Vindicate. He vindicates my harvester. But we've got vines of astwood. Whoa ha ha! So that saves the harvester, and I'm happy about that. And then damnation. Boom. So yeah, I mean, at least I get to draw a few cards off of the uh, harvester. Carthus or Omnath, however, is out of uh, out of cards now in hand. So, there we are. Balefire Dragon and Steel Hellkite. And then he plays Liliana Spectre. I have to discard, I discard the land. I'm fine with that. Darien's Luminarch Ascension has two counters on it. Sylvan Primordial, however, isn't worried about that. It comes out and ramps the Omnath player a little bit by blowing up a land and the Ascension. And he's, he has haste. Uh, because he put this... Why does he have haste? Oh, because of uh, Hall of the Bandit Lord. That's right. And so, because he gets hit, uh, he also gets the Contested War Zone. So they're at 17, we're at 33. I draw Dragon Master Outcast. I play Karthus again. Because I've got enough mana to cast Karthus. And uh, Balefire Dragon. And put the Greaves on Karthus again. Mana Reflection is good in this deck. I attack with both. And he gives uh, Contested Cliffs uh, pump to my guys. So they're at 10. We're at 33. Uh, Omnath Scries. They win the man Mana Crypt flip um, what do they end up doing Darian's playing Nykthos which is good he just taps out for except for one planes I'm not sure what the deal was there with the scrubland oh so decree of justice uh, pumps out three guys when it's cycled and draws him a card uh, now he uses his Sensei's Divining Top to draw a card. What's he going to draw? What are you going to draw? Nothing. That was weird. Oh, they... Yeah, they're, they're essentially giving up at this point because they don't really have any way to stop us. There it is. So yeah, they both conceded, uh, and there we go. And I had the ability to draw a bunch of cards with Hunter's Insight next turn. Um, there's Steel Hellkite and Dragon Master Outcast. So uh, there was a lot of back and forth in this game, which was good. You know, we were pretty close and down and out, except the Condemn of Omnath actually helped us win this game. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that fun two-headed giant stuff. Thanks.